Hey, what's up, YouTube 702 guy here um, with another part to the tips and tricks tutorials I started to do. Um, this one's going to be about creating your own samples. Before I start the tutorial, I want to apologize. Um, I'm sorry I haven't released many tutorials. I've, I couldn't find my mic for the longest time, so it's kind of hard to make a tutorial if you don't have a mic. Um, but yeah, so here's another tutorial for you guys. Now, creating your own samples is really good because um, when you create your own samples, you don't have to find and use that sample again. You don't have to figure out how you made it. Say you made a really good beat that you like and you find that it'll fit another song you're working on perfectly later. Um, you can just go ahead and load that sample up. Um, so I'll show you first just a little beat sample. So if you want to make a beat, I mean obviously you're going to work harder on it. But say I just want, I'm just going to make a simple beat. Um, so say this is a really hard beat and I don't know how to make it anymore. Okay, so um, what you're going to do, here's the beat by the way. Now all you do is you hit this little save icon right here. Um, you save it wherever you want, so I'm going to save it to my desktop. So I'm going to name this one since I already have a beat one there. I'm going to name this one uh, beat. Oops, beat two. All right, so save it. Um, same thing pops up when you're exporting a song. All right, so now it's sitting right here on my desktop. Now say I want to use it, I just go ahead and drag it and drop it into the program. All right, so now I've got this beat two sitting right here. So then I'm going to create four samples of it. So now I just press the play button. All right, so now I got my sample going here. It's just a sample. It's not the actual like beat itself. It's just a file I made. So now the same thing applies to any any channel you want to use. So say I'm going to create a new pattern now. So say um, let's just load up FL keys right now. I'm going to use the riff machine, which is like a total cheater way to make a thing. But I'm going to use it real quick just for uh, tutorial purposes. So say I made this amazing thing like one of the best tunes in the whole world right here which is really not but let's pretend for a second alright so I made the best tune in the whole world same thing you just save it and you go to uh, your desktop or wherever you want to save it as you save this as like whatever so melody one alright so start it's already done so now same thing just drag it and drop it into here alright so now you got this and then now I've also got my beat alright so let's throw these both in here and see now we got both just samples sitting here alright alright so that's so that's um, how you do it that way now if you want the, th uh, the sounds you made into the program all you have to do is you just go at this this is if you're using Windows 7 by the way um, you go to program files 86 you go down to image line, let me find it, image line, you go to FL Studio 10, you go to data and patches. Now you can save it wherever you want. I'd recommend it saving it in the clipboard files because it's the easiest to access. So you go to your clipboard files. Um, let's say I'm going to put it in dubstep, this dubstep one I have here. So say I want to put my melody in my dubstep one. All right, so now if I go back to my program and I go to my clipboard files and I go to my dubstep, um, I go and look for it on the M's. Melody one sitting right here. All right, so now all I have to do is just drag it and drop it into here. Same thing. All right, so that's a relatively quick tutorial. Um, it's just a little tip. You know, if you find a beat that you really like, um, you're making it messing around, but you don't want to figure out to do it again. Just make a sample of it. Load it into your program. It makes it makes some things a lot easier sometimes. Um, so yeah, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, guys. Please do that because it helps me out a lot. Um, as always, thanks for watching.